Welcome back, everybody. It's a very serious issue, but we're going to really talk is. about it very frankly because it's something you can do to protect yourself. We're all hearing about C. difficile. Good yeah. to see you. Nice Bryce to see you. Yeah. Is back. Nice to see you. We're going to talk about, first of all, what it is and who it affects. Well, you know, actually, C. difficile is a bad bacteria to have, but the interesting thing is 5% of the population have it naturally in the gut. Okay. So it really only affects the elderly and those that are immune compromised. So Clostridium difficile is actually a bad and very infectious potential bacteria, but 5% of the population have it and handle it very well. It's when it gets into the wrong orifice, okay? okay? If you don't wash your hands properly and or, as I mentioned, your immune system is compromised, as in the elderly, and it gets into your oral cavity, you have a significant problem. That's why right now, a hospital in Hamilton, St. Joe's, you know, they've got an outbreak. 11 people are in quarantine, and sadly, an in one individual's already died. Uh, this spreads like wildfire when the environment's not kept superbly clean. So they've sanitized, they're using they bleach. They sanitize it. But what they forget, and this is what, you know, gets us, especially in the natural medicine world, is that really the immune system is within us and it's not it's, it's not to worry as much as we are like you know overly concerned about the external environment let's get ourselves stronger internally, internally. so that it doesn't affect us that way absolutely it do you know where your immune system is could you point you to your what? immune system if lie. I asked you I read my notes so I know it's in the gut. It is. 70, approximately 70, 80 percent of your immune system is right there in your gut. It's called gut-associated lymphatic tissue. Okay. And it's so imperative to keep this all balanced. And that's why we're talking bacteria, because bacteria is the name of the game. The good and the bad. This is all about balance. So go with your gut and keep it healthy. How? Right. Easily, you say probiotics. Well, we've heard a lot about probiotics. We'll talk about probiotics. I want to start by talking about prebiotics because prebiotics help the good bacteria, which we'll talk about, okay. keep growing and help to culture and harvest them. So these prebiotics and some probiotics are actually originally found on uh, fruits and vegetables, and they're called SOBs. But they're not that type of SOB. They're soil they're the organism one. bacteria, and they used to be found on fruits and vegetables, but now we spray the heck out of our fruits and vegetables with pesticides, so they're no longer there in the counts that we'd like them to be in order to reculture our guts. Unless you're buying organic. Unless, very good point. Someone's been buying organic, right? right? So, well, and you know, it's expensive, but at the end of the day, so many of these virtues, the lack of the pesticides contributing to uh, Parkinson's disease and, yeah. you know, th things that contribute to these problems in imbalanced bacteria. Okay, so those things like, uh, you know, garlic and onions and asparagus, uh, you know, these will help the good bacteria grow because of something called inulin, and they also have got a, a high amount of SOBs on fruits and vegetables. You're seeing inulin okay. fortified in cereals and things. You are, more now. right, yeah. and this is the reason, because it helps to fortify that 80% of our immune yeah. system family. Got. Okay, now therapeutic probiotics is all about dose. This is what gets me the most. You are not going to receive a therapeutic level of a good bacteria. Acidophilus, you've heard of, bifidus, yes. these probacteria. You're not going to get enough in yogurt. You're not. You're not going to get enough in yogurt. That might be a good maintenance program, okay? But you need, if you're trying to avoid C. difficile or the imbalanced good and bad bacteria, you need therapeutic ranges of probiotics. That is only going to be found in product that you will take. So for example, take this BioK, and these are excellent studies done recently, uh, you know, going back to the Montreal outbreak, by the way, which mm. killed numbers of people, the C. difficile there back in 2006, actually was curative in, in those individuals who had that particular outbreak. So C. difficile helped them come back from what was called antibiotic-associated diarrhea. So taking antibiotics wiped their good bacteria clean, C. difficile took over, killed a few of them, they reestablished good gut flora with this product this here. It's very powerful. It's a very powerful product. You ever tried this? I haven't. Is it like yogurt? It's, you know, it's like yogurt, but here's the difference, and I was going to come full circle to the, you know, you have to take a product in order to get therapeutic amounts. Try this. Okay. Um, How much are we, there's are enough we taking good this bacteria. whole thing? No, no, no. Take a swig to try it. But, but to, to, but to yes, ramp up your system. Yes, there's 50 billion active culture in that one dose. Hmm. That would be enough yogurt to fill up this entire studio, by the way. I like it. Okay. Isn't that, that's not bad. It's a little, a little banana. Tang, Can right? I have a little banana like in a there? Well, you know, they do have flavors for those of us who can't actually <laughs> handle a, this flavor less, okay? Good. They have natural flavors. So that's not bad. So that's 50 billion, okay? And you take a product, something like this, manufactured by uh, Faring Pharmaceuticals, VSL, although there's no specific government claim on it for C. difficile, this actually treats, and it helps a lot of my patients, ulcerative colitis, okay? It wow. helps in the treatment of pouchitis, you know, all the inflammatory bowel diseases of the world. And what you find in one dose here is 450 billion active culture. Oh okay, so not everyone we, needs that many. What are we many. taking? Are we right. taking? So, so to refill on this, because a lot of claims will, you know, and they're very positive, a lot of uh, individual manufacturers will say, you know what, take this kind of stuff every day. And certainly right. that's not the point here. If and when you have a problem in children, for example, eczema, atopic dermatitis, you know, reoccurrent ear infections, or you find your immune system is out of kilter, mm -hmm. it's largely possibly because of an imbalanced good bacteria. So what my recommendation is typically redose with a therapeutic amount that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks 
every few months. So to for a couple of weeks, things. almost like a cleanse, you're you're drinking one of these daily. Right. And in particular, if you have antibiotics of any degree, whether they're, you know, gram negative positive or combined, which means, you know, very hard if you're urinary tract infection and the kind of antibiotics you're gonna be given for that just wipes the entire gut clear. Okay? So as soon as you're done taking as soon the as antibiotics. You're done, very good point, because during the course you're probably just gonna kill off and just neutralize these good bacteria. When you are done at least two weeks and follow up with your doctor of a therapeutic course. So for example, Jameson's got a thirty billion. If you have a child, uh, you know, you might be taking these drops, BioGuy, if your child has to to take antibiotics. I'm not against antibiotics, but okay. in Canada alone, there are 25 million antibiotic prescriptions annually. Wow. That's the that's the that's the population of Canada. So we've got to ramp up. Got to be taking these after the antibiotics. Awesome for sure. advice. Like for more information, wildonhealth.com, or of course, you can always follow him on Twitter as well. Thank you. This is really good stuff. And you know what? So much so, I'm going to finish drinking this. Do you mind? Prevent. Prevent. And we could buy this anywhere now. Any Widely of the health available. food stores. Loblaws Health Food Stores. Absolutely. Stay healthy, everybody. Probiotics. To good health. Thank yes, you so cheers. much. We'll drink to that. Over to Jen, who's also keeping healthy at Live Eye today.